Hello everyone, in this video we are going to determine the center of the circle and the radius of the circle whose equation is given by this. So to do that you begin by first of all putting down the general equation of our circle which is given by x minus h squared plus y minus k squared this is equal to r squared. In this case, hk is the center of your given uh, equation. So, this one is equal to the center. r is the radius. There are two ways in which you can obtain the center and the radius of this equation. The first way is expanding this part here so that you have x squared minus 2xh plus plus h squared plus y squared minus 2y k plus k squared is equal to r squared. Then what you do, you compare the coefficient of x and the coefficient of y. So that now you shall have negative 2xh is equal to negative 6, negative 6x, comparing the coefficient of x. So x and x will cancel so that you shall have now negative 2h is equal to negative 6, meaning that you are h is equal to 3. Similarly, to, co to obtain the value of k, you compare the coefficient of y, whereby now here we have negative 2yk is equal to negative 10y, meaning that negative 2k is equal to negative 10k is equal to so from these two now, we can write our center. Our center is equal to 3. Our center is equal to 3. Ah, uh, 5. Now, to obtain the, the value of R, the value of R will be given by Comparing this constant, h squared plus k squared minus r squared will be equal to that. This is equal to that. Now h is 3, so you square 3 squared plus. K. K is 5, so you have 5 squared minus R squared should give you uh, that. So this is 9 plus 25 minus R squared is equal to that. So you have 9 plus 25 minus that is equal to r squared. This is that 4 minus that, which is equal to r squared. Meaning that 4 is equal to r squared. So your radius is equal to 2. That is one of the method. Alternatively, you can decide from x squared minus 6x plus y squared minus 10y plus that is equal to 0. You can start by having x squared minus 6 squared plus y squared minus 10y is equal to negative that. Taking the, that on the right hand side. Then you complete the square on the terms, on the x terms and on the y terms. So, we complete square here on the x term that is x squared minus 6x plus negative 6 over 2 squared 
plus y squared minus 10y plus negative 10 over 2 squared. This will be equal to negative 30 plus negative 6 over 2 squared plus negative 10 over 2 u square. Remember, whatever you do to the left, you should also do to the right. In this part, you shall have x, x minus 3 u square, completing the square, plus y minus 5 squared. This is equal to negative 30 plus 9 plus 25. Negative 6 divided by 2 is negative 3. Negative 3 squared is 9. Negative 10 divided by 2 is 5. Negative 5. Negative 5 squared is 25. This is equal to 4. Now, then you have x minus 3 squared plus y minus 5 squared is equal to 4 squared. Remember the objective is you obtain the center of the circle and the radius of the circle. So you compare with the standard equation of our circle, which is x minus 8 squared plus y minus k squared is equal to r squared. So from the, the standard equation of our circle, clearly you can see our center, the center of our circle will be 3, 5, and the radius, this is 4, meaning that the square root of 4 is 2. And the radius of our circle will be equal to 2. So those are the two approaches in which you can obtain the center and the radius of the circle. So thanks so much for taking your time to study with me on how to obtain the center and the radius of our circle when you are given the equation of this kind. Kindly remember to subscribe to the channel so that you will be notified whenever there is a new release. Bye-bye for now. See you in the next video as we keep on learning.